Another new feature with Modic 2.0 is stages. Many marketers want to keep track of where their contacts are in the sales funnel. Now, whether you're a nonprofit or an enterprise or even a small or medium sized business, that is going to change for you. So, what we've done is we've enabled you to set up your own stages and call them whatever you want. This takes a little planning. So, for instance, on the screen, I've got a stage called Top of Funnel. This might be where an anonymous user has become a known contact and now they're at the top of my sales funnel. I could have one, two, five, ten stages here through whatever funnel I'm trying to take my contacts. And so I've just set up one here called Top of Funnel and that's pretty self-explanatory. Over on the contacts page then, I've added four contacts to the Top of Funnel stage. When I click on one, it shows me here what stage they're on. It's quite simple. To set up a new stage, you click Stages, New, and give it a name. I'm going to call this Middle of the Funnel. Give it a weight of 10 so it has a higher value than, say, the top of funnel. I'll leave it uncategorized. I'll hit Save and Close, and now you see we have a new stage. It's easy to move somebody to a new stage manually. Just choose their name. Click on the icon and change their stage to whatever you want. And now my contact is in the middle of the funnel. It's easy to update this using a campaign as well. Here in my test campaign, I'll launch my campaign builder and you'll see here I have a segment where I send a test email. If they open it, the user gets 10 points and now I want to modify their stage. I'm going to click and drag Change Contact Stage. And I'm going to say Move to the Middle. Choose the stage of Middle of the Funnel and click Add. And just drag that so that they get both of these actions when they open the email. And it's as simple as that. Once you have your stages added and your contacts are being moved through your funnel, you'll want to know how well they're doing. We've added two new widgets to the dashboard and I'll cover the dashboard more completely in another video. But for now, you can get a stages in time report and a lifetime cycle of all of your contacts. Now this particular site only has a couple of hundred demo contacts. So for now, there are 90 in the United States, 75 in Canada, and I have one in the test segment. These are segments, of course. And in each segment, I can see how many are in the funnel for any particular segment as well as what stage changes I have over the lifetime. And these reports, of course, are configurable. And this is going to be very helpful to any marketer who's trying to see how their contacts are moving through your sales funnel from beginning to end.